the second episode of our deco series, summer deco series. So I'm going to share with you each week uh, what I have done, what I have improved in my deco, in the making of this new deco in this new kingdom. So in July, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot, a lot of time to dedicate to that. So I have a few hours every week. It's not a lot, but I will try to make the most of these hours. And I will share with you at least what I have uh, done uh, during this time. This week I have started to work on the molding decor I want to have above my cupboards, just above the, the fireplace. Maybe I will do this also on above other doors because I quite like it. I'm going to have an animal like a hunter fee at the center and I will have a lot of decor and things, bower cleaves and things like that. And I am going to add two things on each side because I want something rather big which really match the, the, the doors, which is at least almost as wide as the door itself. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to glue that and to secure this part also on the other side and then build my decor on it. And I will rather stay with not too crazy colors here because I want to have rather vintage uh, colors for my fairy tale room. So it's going to be mainly white and I choose also white animals. It's going to be a rabbit and probably a unicorn. I, I thought it would be a unicorn. Maybe I'm going, going to change, I'm not sure. So that's what I'm sharing with you in this episode. is what I cut in the foam board for my first uh, decor over my cupboard um, the, on the right. I think it's going to be the one on the right. Um, I chose some foam board. It's much easier to cut. You can always do very sophisticated things. You would really struggle to do that in the cardboard and I really like to use it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add two pieces on each side because it's not long enough. So I want another piece here going to glue all that and then later I will uh, copy that exactly so it's going to be easier to copy the second one because I'm going to copy uh, the second one after this example so nothing is absolutely symmetrical I don't really care about that it's for my home so I do what I want in case you want to, to be inspired by that for your own home, maybe it's a good idea to do a, a drawing before so you know exactly where you are going to cut all that. I totally improvised and I like to do that this way. 
Um, I will see because I'm going to do a lot of decor on it, some leaves, some flowers, some things like that. So, and, and the third title will be the head, the character, the head of the animal. So on this side, I don't remember, I think it would be a horse. I want to have a horse or unicorn, something like that on one side. You will need to go very slowly if you want to do something like that and to carefully cut. And if you are uh, here, I had broken something. So I just added a bit of newspaper and glue and it's fine now. And that's it. I'm going to continue and to finish the, this big part and to attach them very well on each side. I finished to glue here these two parts with glue and different sort of just thick paper and then here I added a lot of wire just to start the beginning for my, all my intricate decor I'm going to sculpt. So here I left this, par this uh, part empty because I'm going to do it separately. I could really sculpt it there but I think it's going to be really comfortable to just focus here on all the decor, the flowers, the craziness I want to do and I will add the animal later. finished the first part of my ornaments, my first ornament for the first part of my right cup board. It took me eight hours to do this first part. So I just tell you that in case you have the project to make one. Uh, of course you can make something smaller, you don't have to make something so intricate. I wanted to have something quite sophisticated so um, I will have to repeat that twice which is going to make it a bit more challenging but I didn't start the big animal which I'm going to add at the center of the decor and of course I have to work on all the parts which are still in wire and um, finish it, paint it, all that. So there was still a lot to do. There were different things I need to tell you just before I leave you here. If you have the project to also do a sort of decor like that above a door, above a bed, it can be used for many many purposes. So the first thing, once you have sculpted and do that first, you have to also add some newspaper, glue, whatever you are using uh, at the back of the foam board. It's very very important if you want it to remain flat because otherwise it's if you only apply your glue on one side it's going to curve. We need a challenge here when you work on something which is quite big, mine is more than one meter. I think it's one meter and 20 centimeters, something like that, wide. Uh, the challenge is to, rem to have this flat during the drying process, that it remains flat, that it's not going to curve. It will have a tendency to curve. So you can't add some weight on it, otherwise you are going to damage it. So you have to be just very careful. Another advice I could give you if you are also working on a big decor, 
using big arabesque, very wide decors like that, very wide ornaments. Just um, take the time to look at your decor from many meters away, just to look at how it looks like. Sometimes we get lost in details and we lose track of the big shape, the big pattern we are creating. So it's a very good idea from time to time just to uh, have a distance with the work you are working on to see if you are doing uh, things big enough or if it's too small. Because if, it's, if the goal is to be seen from very far, you need to think about that. And of course, you can work on the same sort of thing with way less arabesque. I find that very relaxing to work on all this arabesque. I really love that. It's very relaxing. You just, I improvise my arabesque. I don't draw them before. You can draw them and prepare before everything you are going to do. You can improvise. As the, I think it has the same effect than these coloring books. People seem to be very, very excited with where they get very relaxed, just adding some colors and some flowers and patterns. It's the same. Well, the difference is at the end you are making something very big. And very last advice I would suggest, don't put it uh, under the sun completely because if it dries too fast, it will really have a tendency to curve. The drying process has to be fast but not too fast. If you make it go much faster because the sun is super, super warm and you want it to go fast, maybe you will have a lot of problems because once it's curved, we can't do anything. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it on the floor on my fairy tale room floor and I will go back to it once it is dry and I think it's going to be probably in two, three days. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you appreciate it to see the few progress I made this week. I'm going to try to be way more efficient in August at the end of July. Till the end of July, I'm really focused on my workshops and I can't really invest a lot of time on my own decor. Uh, I have to finish some more papers. Next week is going to be very, very busy. I have a lot of little uh, problems to fix in the fairy tale room, little decor problems with the wallpaper. You can't see them too much in the, on the screen, but in person you can see them really well. So I need to fix all these little things, which are not very exciting to do, but they really need to be done. Otherwise, it's not really uh, worth doing beautiful paper decor if you have other problems around them. So feel free to ask me questions if you have some suggestions, if you are doing also some paper decors, other sort of decors this summer or this winter if you're in South Hemisphere uh, for your own home. I would be happy to see that. I love reading your comments. And if you want to dive deep in my techniques, you can check my online workshops. I have quite a nice collection already. I have two coming at the end of July too, uh, which are going to be quite fun. So feel free to visit if you are interested. You can also subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next Deco episode. I'm going to have episodes uh, during this entire summer season and very beginning of autumn because I know I'm going to be late in all my decors, probably. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon.